Uh, well, it is a great pleasure to, to welcome my, uh, my good friend, uh, Prime Minister Key, to the Oval Office. Um, you know, the last time I saw him, uh, we were on a golf course in Hawaii with his son. Uh, and although we will not divulge the scores, uh, it is important to note that uh, John's son, Max, cannot drive both of us by a substantial uh, amount. During the course of, of my presidency and, and John's uh, prime ministership, uh, I think it's fair to say that uh, the U.S.-New Zealand relationship uh, has never been strong. Uh, we share values. Uh, we uh, have uh, enormously strong people-to-people -people relationships. Uh, we have uh, excellent commercial ties. And uh, we have uh, increasing uh, consultations and relationships between our militaries. Uh, and uh, all, the, all of those components have uh, deepened uh, during the course of our tenures here. Uh, we had an excellent conversation about uh, many regional issues, uh, as well as uh, some uh, broader issues uh, and challenges. Uh, we spent a lot of time talking about trade and commerce in the Asia Pacific re region, and uh, the United States and uh, New Zealand were uh, two of the uh, initial uh, members of uh, the TPP coalition that is trying to uh, create a high standards uh, trade regime in the most dynamic and fastest growing part of the world. Uh, New Zealand, as a uh, country with a small population but uh, really good products, uh, has a great interest in uh, making sure that uh, markets are open and rules of the road are uh, abided by when it comes to trade and, and so uh, New Zealand's been a great partner on that process and, and we discussed a timeline whereby before the end of the year we're able to get a, a document that uh, can create jobs both in New Zealand and the United States and the other countries that are participating uh, and expand uh, wealth for all parties concerned uh, and, and our hope is, is that by the time we see each other again in November uh, uh, when I traveled to Asia, uh, that we should have uh, something that uh, we have consulted with Congress about, that uh, the public can take a look at, uh, and we can make a forcible argument to go ahead and close the deal. But we've got a lot of work to do uh, between now and then. Uh, we had a good discussion about uh, uh, some of the other issues that are facing the Asia Pacific region, uh, the threat to, of North Korea, uh, and the need uh, to uh, continue to press on denuclearization there. Uh, the relationship with China, where we both agree that uh, we welcome uh, China's peaceful rise. Uh, and at the same time, we uh, discussed uh, my very strong view that uh, it is important for us to be able to resolve uh, disputes like maritime disputes uh, in accordance with international law and encourage uh, all parties concerned to maintain uh, a a legal framework for uh, resolving issues as opposed to uh, possible escalation that could have an impact on uh, navigation and commerce. Uh, we had uh, a good conversation uh, about climate change, where New Zealand, I think, has been an excellent partner with us and, and uh, other uh, economies, recognizing that uh, this is a threat that uh, none of us can solve individually, that we're going to have to work on together. And uh, so we discussed our plans for uh, putting forward robust action in, in uh, 2015 uh, with the upcoming Paris conference. Uh, and we discussed the state of the world economy. Uh, New Zealand has been doing very well, uh, in part, uh, as John explained, because of the rebuilding after the devastating uh, uh, earthquake that had happened there, uh, but also because of uh, uh, the outstanding uh, growth in its agricultural sector, uh, where uh, it uh, uh, that's one of the few countries that maybe can match us uh, when it comes to uh, agricultural productivity and, and uh, the excellence of our products. Uh, but I think we share the view that uh, it's important to sustain economic growth worldwide and, and worldwide demand uh, at a time when uh, Europe, for example, is still having challenges. Uh, and uh, that's part of why uh, something like uh, the Trans-Pacific Partnership can be so important. Um, and finally, we, d we discussed uh, some core security issues. 
Uh, I'm proud that uh, my home's, uh, original home state of Hawaii is going to be welcoming uh, a, new, uh, a New Zealand ship uh, uh, coming into port for the first time in uh, a couple of decades, and uh, we're very proud of that. Uh, I'm sure you'll get uh, a good welcome uh, when, when they come. And uh, although uh, New Zealand obviously is, is a small country uh, with a small armed forces, uh, the cooperation that we have uh, on intelligence issues, uh, New Zealand's uh, excellent efforts when it comes to training uh, and participating in uh, peacekeeping operations uh, makes it an invaluable partner. So we're very appreciative of that. Uh, so overall, uh, uh, it was wonderful to see John and his delegation, and uh, I indicated to him that I would love to come to New Zealand because I hear it's really nice. Uh, and I know the people are nice because I've had a chance to meet them. Uh, so uh, we're, we're, we're going to be working with my schedule to see what I can come up with, uh, uh, if not this year, certainly before the end of my presidency. So welcome. Thank you. Well, <coughs> let me be brief. Uh, Mr. President, firstly, thank you for the opportunity to be in the White House. Um, look, I think the relationship between New Zealand and the United States continues to go from strength to strength, and that's in a large part uh, because of your leadership and your commitment to the New Zealand-US relationship. Um, New Zealand and the United States have uh, been the two partners, I think, in the Trans-Pacific Partnership that have always believed in a high-quality, comprehensive deal. And I think that uh, that can be achieved. And I think there's more work to be done. Uh, but the prize at the end of, of those negotiations is one that's worth it for both of our economies and for the other 10 partners that will join us. So I think that's a, a great objective. Um, we appreciate all the things you do, uh, the leadership you show around the world. We know that it's, uh, it's never an easy day in the office here in the Oval Office. Uh, and lastly, I think we had a very good discussion about maritime security and uh, certainly New Zealand holds very strongly to the view that, that everyone has to observe the rule of international law, uh, the law of the sea, and uh, peace and stability in, in every region of the world is important. Uh, it's important to our two countries, so um, it's probably enough for me, but thank you very much for having us here again. Thanks. Thank you very much. I think our, all our society is run by insane people for insane objects, mm. objectives. Yeah, yeah. And I think that's what I sussed when I was 16 and 12, way down the line. But I expressed it differently all through my life. It's the same thing I'm expressing all the time. But now I can put it into that sentence that I think we're being run by maniacs for maniacal mean, uh, ends, you know. If, if anybody can put on paper what our government and the American government, etc., and the Russian, Chinese, what they are actually trying to do, you know, and how, what they think they're doing, mm. I'd be very pleased to know what they think they're doing. I think they're all insane. You know, but I'm liable to be put away as insane for expressing that. You know, that's what's insane about it. Fire! We're on target. Fire!